Casey Roberts, um, and Casey is our daycare provider. Mm -hmm. Yep. So why did you choose to nominate Casey for helping the helpers? Oh, you know, especially at the beginning when everything started, um, there was a lot of questions. And one of our main concerns was that obviously both Andrew and I work for Iowa Select and the company uh, was helping us with schedules and figure things out. But one of our children is an infant, you know, and so... Um, we were very concerned about not being able to be productive or how that was going to look like having the baby full time at home plus all the children. We have six kids. Um, so at the beginning, Casey was very reassuring. reassuring of, sorry, I may have said that funny. <laughs> and um, we just talked quite a bit and she said, you know, uh, the bulk of my families are farmers, our nurses, our teachers, and I have to stay open. And she was just wonderful to work with, and she has been able to give us the stability and help us with early mornings and late afternoons and whatever we had to the past few weeks um, going almost in, you know, months to be able to make this work. So that was wonderful. Wow, that's so awesome because, like you said, I know it was a really big panic, basically, for a lot of people when they found out that, you know, not only were schools closing, but child care facilities were closing. So it puts these people in a really tough situation that, you know, need to keep working. Farmers are essential. We, we need food. And so mm -hmm. to have a daycare provider that is willing to stay open and, you know, also knowing that your son is in great hands has to just be reassuring mm -hmm. that you can keep doing your job. So um, I'm sure you've talked to her, but if you could tell Casey and all child care providers right now that are working hard to provide for essential families, I guess what would you say to her and to all of them that are stepping up to help out? Yeah, absolutely. I think that um, daycare sometimes just take it for granted. You know, I think that we drop off our children, we go on a, with our day, and then we pick them up. And when you take a step back, you have to think that these people have their own children. They have, this is their business, so they don't have a company backing them up, um, you know, for sick time or whatnot. So I knew it was going to be a big decision, and I knew that um, I will have to support her, and I am just so thankful that she has been able to provide stability and help us. And I think that people need to really look at their child care provider and, and take a deeper look. You know, this is the person that is caring for your child so you can keep providing for your family. And she has been fantastic for us. And I'm just so thankful that she was so brave and that she pushed through her own fears. Um, and she's still going strong. So I'm very thankful for that.